Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday and it is 9.30 in the morning. Scarlett's at school, I just got myself together for the day and I'm actually about to jump on a telemed call with my doctor. Today is the day I'm having just like a normal checkup. Uh, if you guys watched my last vlog, I've been having a lot of like, what I think is hormonal issues um, with acne and fatigue and um, I just, I need to get a checkup. I, it's been a while, so a checkup's gonna be good, but I'm doing it via telemed, and then I'm gonna request to get like my hormone levels checked and my blood checked, like a blood panel drawn up or something. I'm gonna set you guys down, but this has been something I've been wanting to get done for a while, and I'm glad that I'm finally taking care of this and not putting it off any longer. So we'll see what she says, but my appointment is in just a few minutes, so I'm gonna jump on this call and we'll go from there. Okay, guys, this is not going well. I cannot get connected. <laughs> And it's 9.50 and my appointment was at 9.45, so maybe I'm not going to have my appointment today. I don't know, and I can't get a hold of anybody at the office, so I'm like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> they said I'd get a text message with a phone number to call and then a code, and I never got that, so. Thank you for holding. Your call will be answered right Okay, finally just talked to somebody from the office. Apparently the doctor's just running behind or something. I don't know how any of this works. We haven't had to see a doctor for so long and I've never done an online appointment. So still trying to navigate and figure this out, but I guess I'll just wait for this text message. I guess while I'm waiting, I could make my bed. <laughs> I feel like that would be a good thing to do. got my link so I'm gonna jump on this okay, I'm currently in the Starbucks drive-thru but I had my appointment with my doctor I'm gonna come in next Monday for blood work she told me to come in towards the end of my cycle and that would be next week um, I would go in later but we're leaving for Kansas next week so Monday is the only day I can come in so uh, I'm gonna go in Monday get everything checked she's amazing and she's gonna check all the things so we're gonna hopefully figure this out this is my $3 drink that I get at Starbucks. I honestly haven't been to Starbucks in weeks. I really don't come that much anymore, but I had a free coffee today. I was able to get free coffee and I'll explain here in a second why, but this is a iced coffee with um, cream and then one pump vanilla, one pump caramel. Caramel, do you say caramel or do you say caramel? Because I honestly never say caramel, so I don't know why I just said that but whatever. Um, anyways, this drink is $3.70 and it's really good. And it's not that sugary. I mean, it could be worse, but it could be better. I'm sitting outside the grocery store thinking about going in, but also <laughs> thinking about just sitting here and taking some quiet time before I go get Scarlet. I got this coffee for free thanks to the Drop app. I have partnered with Drop for today's video and I know most of you guys probably know about them, but if you don't, the drop app is so amazing. I use drop whenever I'm shopping online because I'm able to earn points and those points are able to be redeemed for rewards, which is how I got my free Starbucks. I know so many of you guys have already downloaded the drop app and you're loving it just like I am. But if you haven't drop is a free rewards app. It's available on iOS and Android and it's so easy to earn points for online shopping that you're already doing on their app. You can shop over 400 plus brands like Expedia, Sephora, um, Lululemon, Urban Outfitters, places I already shop. Here's what the Drop app looks like. My points are right up here and I have a bunch of points pending actually because I just booked a few things through Expedia. Points are automatically rewarded to you within 30 days so I'm just waiting for those to be rewarded. So for example, let's say I wanted to shop Expedia, which I use this for Expedia a lot. I just go right there. It's actually my recent searches. Um, and I'd search for Expedia and it's going to redirect me to this page. I'm going to earn 42 points per dollar spent at Expedia. So I'm just going to hit book now and it's going to redirect me to the Expedia app where I can just shop like normal. And then my points from drop will be automatically rewarded within 30 days. Like I said, anyways, I recently redeemed some of my reward points for a Starbucks gift card. So if you go to rewards and this area down here um, you can actually see like what rewards you can get and there's good places on here guys like uh, Chipotle we eat there a lot DoorDash we use that a lot um, there's Sephora there's Starbucks like I said Ulta American Eagle Nordstrom so many places you can use rewards for literally doing nothing <laughs> like just using the drop app while you shop so I love shopping the drop app you guys it's, it's seriously a no-brainer to me and I think you guys will like it too so if you don't have it downloaded yet go download it I'm gonna leave my link down below in the description 
description box. When you guys use my link to download Drop, Drop is actually gonna reward you $10 in the equivalent of 10,000 points. So you're automatically gonna start saving just by downloading it. And then those bonus points will be rewarded to you once you earn your first 1,000 points by completing offers on the app, which is so simple to do. You guys are gonna love Drop. But anyways, I am gonna go run into Safeway really fast since I'm here. Go grab some groceries. I have about 20 minutes until I need to pick up Scarlett. We are home and I totally forgot we got groceries. <laughs> we almost forgot to get them. Thanks, Scar. There you go, whoa. <laughs> so I ended up just grabbing a few things from our grocery store. There's all your cereal for Valentine's Day. I'll have to show you guys what we're doing for Scarlett's Valentine's Day yeah. cards What's for school. Okay, Let's see if we can get this all. I think we'll have to take two trips. Okay. I'm gonna unload the groceries. You guys, I'm doing the cutest little DIY Valentine's Day cards for Scarlett um, involving cereal. My go-to dinner is um, spaghetti squash uh, spaghetti. <laughs> it's like twice baked. Ew. Oh no, I hope this one isn't rotten. It shouldn't do that. <laughs> it should not do that. So maybe I'll be able to save it by cutting off the rotten end, but that kind of stinks because that was my plan for dinner. Spaghetti squash, spaghetti. So if that doesn't work, I guess we're ordering DoorDash. <laughs> Again, I didn't really get that much because I was not prepared to go to the grocery store, but I grabbed some bananas for protein smoothies. I grabbed a pizza for, um, I have a babysitter come over once a week for Scarlet, and I figured they could eat that for lunch. Uh, I grabbed some salmon. I guess we could eat that for dinner today if that doesn't work out. Uncrustable cheese for the spaghetti, eggs, spaghetti sauce, ground beef. I'm making Scarlett a pizza right now in the air fryer, by the way, if you're wondering what that noise is. So we're gonna get lunch. Um, I'm actually pretty hungry right now, so I'm gonna make myself, I think, a wrap. tried that TikTok uh, wrap hack where you fold it up. It's really easy and it's, I like really like it. I'm definitely gonna do that with wraps from now on. But I am eating that ham wrap, some chips, and then half of a mellow for lunch today. I'm about to start working on Valentine's Day cards with Scarlett and I wanted to show you guys what we're doing. So for her Valentine's Day cards, I found this print off off of Pinterest. It was free. I just printed this off. It says, I am seriously <laughs> So happy you are my friend. And then I'm gonna hot glue this to a bag of cereal and she's gonna pass these out. Um, but first I'm gonna have her write her name on all of these. So we might have to do some now and some later. We'll see if she gets tired. You won't get tired? Nope. Okay, she says she's not gonna get tired. So we're gonna use those for the cereal. I'm gonna hot glue this to the cereal. I was going to add like a plastic spoon and um, use like a hole punch and then some String. Do you need help? Yeah. Okay, hold on. And I'm deciding to cut that out because COVID, and I just don't think it's gonna be necessary. Nobody's gonna use that plastic spoon. So it's probably better for the earth to not go with the plastic spoons anyways, and it's better for everybody's health. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a bunch of these sheets, okay? So we'll start with one, and you're gonna need to write your name there, and there, and there. Can you do that? Like. Three times. Blah, 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 like I always like my middle name and last name. No, just write Scarlet. So you can use pink or purple. Thinking you were made for me, isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Okay, 
taste. Scarlett said she was kind of tired, so we made six of these. We need to make 17 of these. So we'll work on a couple today, and then we'll 17. do a few tomorrow. We'll just do a couple each day. Whoa, that's hot. Also, we're gonna do little gift bags for our neighbors, and I originally got these for Scarlett for uh, Valentine's Day, but these were really hard for her to write her name on. So she would have need to, needed to use like a permanent marker, first of all, because this is plastic. And second of all, this is just hard for her to write. But anyway, so we're just gonna put some candy in some little bags. We have these Jojo Siwa gummies, um, these little conversation hearts, fruit by the foot, blow pops, and then these little Elsa hearts. So I'm just gonna make these up. Okay, we have all of these little Valentine's Day bags for her neighbors. So I said whenever we're outside and we see a friend, we can just run inside and grab one and spread some Valentine Day cheer for our neighborhood. So there's just a bunch of candy and stuff. We ended up putting extra in these because we had a bunch extra. Okay, Andy threw up on the floor right there. And he doesn't do this a lot, but he does it sometimes. Buddy, are you okay? All right. Did you eat something you weren't supposed to? I guess that's what happened. Oh, you need a haircut. Anyways, I am going to use my little green uh, Bissell spot cleaner to clean the so much time looping in the blurry lights. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Cause I got the system of okay so it is 3 30 right now we are heading to scarlett's dance class so we're gonna go to dance i'm gonna sit in my car and work while she's at dance because that's typically what i do we're at you dance class stuff? early so scarlett's getting a stretch in it's big, big, big and strong are you gonna dance really good today yeah yeah what is your favorite thing you do at dance class? Get a sticker. <laughs> Going to dance class, your favorite thing is getting a sticker? Yeah, because we get a sticker on our dance. You do. They get to put stickers on their uh, tap shoes, right? Yeah. Hi, you guys. We're home from dance. Scarlett is playing with her neighbors right now, and this is the moment of truth. So. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. It's like all rotten inside. Ew, it stinks. I'm not eating this. So I guess I'm out of cooking, but I I hate it when like I finally like make an effort to get groceries to cook and then it just doesn't work out. That's like what it just irks me. Like it's a pet peeve of mine. I'm like, I literally went to the grocery store today to get dinner, to cook dinner tonight, and <laughs> that was rotten. I could totally just use pasta, but Ty's like on a super carb conscious kick right now and the reason I was doing spaghetti squash was so he wasn't eating a bunch of carbs so I know he's not gonna be down for that so I'm thinking we are just gonna order Chipotle hey Chipotle just got here Scarlett I got your favorite Chips. this is my veggie bowl I always just do the veggie bowl sometimes I do the steak oh they didn't put guac on it Ooh, that's kind of sad oh well Maybe I didn't request it, I can't remember. And then Ty got a carne asada bowl. He should be home any second. Scarlett got a chicken quesadilla. So this is dinner tonight. We'll try spaghetti squash another night because that actually was sounding really good. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed 
I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high Feels like I can fly You can take me high I can see the sun staring at you When you make that smile I'm moving closer to you now I can't get close enough somehow And I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high Feels like I can fly Did you get your pajamas on and wash your hair yourself? Did you brush your teeth? Oh, hold on. Let me see. Is that soap? Got a little bit of soap. Scarlet washed her own hair. Let's go see if we can rinse that out. Come here. I'm proud of you for washing your own hair in the bathtub, though. It might be a little cold. Is that okay? You sure? Is it too cold? It's too cold. Too cold? Okay, let me let it warm up for a second. You know what? When you had your cast, this is how I had to wash your hair every single day. Well, not every day, but not cold, but you had to lay down in the sink like this. All right, it's getting nice and warm for you now. It's like you're at a salon. I'm in my mom. Yeah, like mommy's at the hair salon. Yeah. You are very tired. Yeah. No cutting hair. I'm no cutting hair, Mom. Alright, hold on. Mom? Okay. No cutting hair. Why? Right. take me no one will ever take me away from you i promise i will hold on to you i don't know what i'd do without you without you scarlet managed to soak the rug in the bathtub like pull it in the bathtub and her towel in the bathtub. So these are soaking wet. I'm just gonna let them dry right there. Whoa. I the floor a little bit. Good night, good night. Good job. All right, go crawl good in night. bed. Okay. Good night. Oh, daddy's going to sleep in your room. Bye. <laughs> good night, daddy. Wait, did you talk him in and give him a hug and kiss? But I want another hug. Okay, there's one more. Okay, go to sleep. Good night, good night, good night. Hopefully he doesn't get scared. Do you want me to scared leave? There's monsters in here. Uh, do you want me to leave the door cracked? Yeah. Well, like this cracked. Can you put the music on? I'll try to. <laughs> You're actually gonna put daddy to sleep, Scarlett. He's probably oh, gonna fall asleep in your bed. So tired. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, music. Okay, can you get me music for that? Yeah, I think you just turn the volume up. I'll turn birdie when you wake up, okay, Dad? <laughs> are you are you actually gonna sleep in my bed? Yeah. No, are you I'm real? Playing. I'm just playing. Okay. Here's your music. Good night, Daddy. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Okay, we just put Scarlett to bed. Two things, there was guacamole in my Chipotle, in case anybody was wondering, it was hiding underneath the lettuce. Second thing is, I'm about to go drink my tea that's been steeping and start doing a little bit of work tonight and I'm gonna call it a night. I think Ty's gonna do a few things on his computer. And then we're gonna try to go to bed at a reasonable time tonight. So thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. You can follow me over on Instagram and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.